did a video about, God, it must be six months ago now, at least six months ago, on a car dealer in Burton-on-Trent, going by the name of D&G. Now, if you search them up online, you'll find their website is closed. If you go on Google, it comes up as a site's permanently closed. I'm actually outside the site now. Uh, they seem to have set up as Midland, hang on, Midland Sport and Prestige Cars, or something like that. Now, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but their website, the way it's laid out, is a different colour, but it's identical to D&G. Now, it looks like they've just set up another uh, a company under another name, as car dealers tend to do. So, I'm going to give them a call about this particular vehicle here, which is a Vauxhall Tigra. Nothing too flashy, too expensive. 1.416 valve exclusive, whatever that means. Uh, they're asking 1,990 quid. Now I'm going to ask a little bit about the car, make a sort of a, a kind of make an appointment to come and view it later on. Now I'm going to ask, also ask who I'm talking to. If the answer comes back as Steve, James, or Jake, then we'll know. So here goes. Uh, hang on, I've lost the car now. Wait a minute. Bear with me. Now right, here we are. Few vehicle details. Uh, so it's a 09 model, which is a lot of money for that car. Uh, here we are. So we'll give him a call on. I won't give out the number just yet. But here we go. Right. Put on loudspeaker. Get back to the website. Press one for sale. Two is after sale. And three. Please hold while I try to connect you. See if we get through. <coughs> Might go stand outside with the camera in a few minutes if they answer the phone. If they don't answer this one, we'll try the mobile. There's a mobile number as well. Not looking like they're going to answer. Right, we'll call, we'll try the, um, the mobile number, which is on here, there we go. So what we'll do first, <coughs> put 141 before the number so that it's not traceable. So if we just go on that, bear with me, I know this is bit, isn't very exciting, there we are. So remember, Stephen, Jake, or James. Ooh. All right. So is it? Ah, hello. Um, I'm looking at interest in a car that you've got on your um your website. Is that um, is that Midland Sports Prestige? Is it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hello, it's a um, Vauxhall Tigra, fourteen hundred. Right, okay, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Zero nine, I think it is. Yeah. Yes, can, can you tell me a bit about it? What would you like to know, mate? Uh, uh, well, advert, uh, really? how many? Uh, does it? I've not actually read the full advert. Does it say how many owners it's had or anything like that? Is it? Uh... I think it's had. Oh, three, I've just three, seen it. It says here five, five plus. It says. You say how many? Two or three? You've got two, right, okay. It's the, uh, how long have you had this car in? Uh, probably about just over a week. Oh, okay. They're cheap to run, aren't they? They are, mate, yeah. They are really cheap to run. Right. They're nice cars, they really are. Yeah. Car for the money. Yeah, yeah. Seems uh, dead cheap for that. Is it a plate one, did you say? Yeah, 09, yeah, yeah. MOT to the end. Would you would you put an MOT on that then if it's only for the end of March? Uh, for the full price of the car, mate, yeah, I would. 
Right, okay. Um, okay, if, if we was to come down and view it then, at what time are you open till? Six o'clock. Six, alright. And who would I ask for? For any of us, there's a few of us down here, mate, so I'm sure one of them will be free for you. Okay, what was your name then? Jake. Jake, ah, okay. Alright, and I'll, uh, I'll try and pop down this afternoon. Yeah, alright, no thanks. More, thanks for your help. Cheers, Jake. Bye bye. Bye bye. Jake. There you go. He's the guy I dealt with when I foolishly left that deposit down on a particular car. So, D&G Automotive, or D&G Autos, or whatever they were called, have just closed, the, the, well, they basically just changed the name to, um, let's have another look, Midland Sports and Prestige. It even says about, I mean, he, he, you know, he said there, didn't he? It's had two owners, it says on their website it's got five. So he's obviously given information out without even checking. So they're still just as dodgy as they were months and months ago. Um, so I'll leave it at that. But if anyone wants to search up uh, Midland Sports Prestige, formerly known as D&G Automotive, Burton-on-Trent, Wood Street, Burton-on-Trent, give them a call and leave them a review. But uh, personally, speaking from my experience and also the experience of countless people that have got in touch with me over the over the last few months, well this year, well not this year, sorry, we're in 2019 now, aren't we? So last year, um, I've had countless people. I, if if my, like I said earlier, if, well, if my editor will work, I'll put in some of the uh, reviews and things that people have sent me, people have left online. But that guy's name was Jake. Now I said before I rang them, if the name's Jake, James, or Stephen, and he said there's a few of them there, it was Jake. As soon as he opened his mouth, I recognised the voice because I've had so many conversations with him. He's not going to recognise, he's not going to know me from this phone number. Uh, anyway, I might go and uh, stand outside and see how busy it is. Do a bit of street photography from the public street. I'm not going to access their, infringe their private um boundary or anything just set the camera up and stand there see if somebody comes out i'll try and put the two clips together if anything happens if not i'll just upload this as a as a separate video um but yeah my my experience don't trust these guys midland sports prestige as far as you can throw them and that is i would like to throw them a long way in fact down the road there into river trent would be a nice place to throw them i'm not threatening Anyway, stay tuned.